the country. Blinded. <laughs> Have you guys watched Marilyn much, Jared? Have you guys prepped for them much? We'll start prepping for them now. Have you seen them at all this year? And do you have any idea, you know, what they have or what they do? Or I haven't seen them at all this year, but you know, I feel like they have a similar team in, uh, as last year. And what were the strengths of that team? Do you recall? You know, I'm not really sure. We'll get a good idea for them when we watch them, watch them on, on tape and go over their personnel today. Jared, what's it going to take to win this game out on the road against this great team? We just got to stay true to ourselves and and really play play up to our capabilities. You know, Maryland's a very good team, and and we just got to do what we what we do. How do you think your cool demeanor? I mean, you never get loud. You never show too much emotion on the court. How do you think that helps the team? Hopefully, it instills some calmness to the other guys. You know. Uh, the whole idea is to never get too high when, when things are going right and never get too low when things are going not your way. And so if you just keep that even keel the whole way, you're going to be better off. You guys have had an awesome year with three-pointers, you specifically. Has it been anything that you guys are working on or just, um, just better shooting? Just better shooting. Uh, we have great shooters in this team, and we've always had great shooters in this team. And we just... Better able to pick and choose our spots, when to shoot, when to not, when to yeah, pass. I think we're, we're doing an excellent job this year of making the extra pass. What would be a good shot to a better shot? Coach said, Coach said one of the keys um, to you guys getting better than you have been is staying humble and hungry. Do you think that's one of the main, main things? Absolutely. You got to stay true ourselves and stay humble, stay hungry in order to keep winning games. You guys started well outside the top 25 now in the top three. What does that say about this team's ability to kind of get rid of all the noise outside? It says a lot. I think we have a, a toughness and grittiness about us. You know, we, we don't pay attention to those rankings. The only rankings that matter at the end of the year. So, yeah, it's great that we're ranked the third, but it doesn't matter right now. It matters at the end of the year. Do you get a sense there's an excitement, though, around this team when you're around campus or around town or just, you know, and come to the arena in game day, it seems like there's a lot of excitement surrounding your team right now. Absolutely. You know, it's Iowa basketball, so you, you live in Iowa City. I mean, that's just thing. a lot of people around here support the college programs. And us as players, coaches, you know, the, the, the faculty here, so appreciative of the, the fan support we get on a daily basis. But that extra excitement is very something special. Does it make it harder to keep? to stay humble when you're getting patted on the back a lot? Or? You know, it might creep into your mind. You know, you might start getting overconfident, but as long as, like I said before, we stay true to ourselves, you know, stay confident to our, our abilities and what we know we can do, but stay humble at the same time. What has most impressed you about